Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Face shave time. I'm using the same soap that I've been using every second shave at the moment, on or off camera, it doesn't really matter. And it is Mitchell's Rule Fat that you guys are probably sick of it. I'm certainly not. My products in the day in terms of hardware and stuff, nothing's changing much. I've got a few brushes coming in, two, a few. I've got a couple of brushes coming in. I may have some software coming in, I'm not sure. But I'm just shaving because I enjoy it. And I'm putting on the camera because I talk a lot of shit. And sometimes the shit I talk is enjoyable for some people, including myself, when I'm really, really bored. But Mitch's Rule Fat comes in a ceramic dish. Well, this one did when I purchased it. And that is what the soap looks like. So I've actually grated this soap, squished it down in the tub, and it just makes it a lot easier to load, I find. Now the brush is, it probably still is my favorite overall brush in terms of look and use and everything. And that is my Envy Shave Abalone brush. This thing is just absolutely stunning. Made by Nathan Clark over in America. Abalone through the handle here. And then he's made this beautiful pearlescent sort of blue shimmer on this, the top section where the knot is knotted. And this is a Black Wolf knot in here. I think it's a black 25mm Black Wolf fan knot, very similar to the one that is in my, oh, I've got it sat here, my Purple Haze. Very similar to that. In fact, if you put them next to each other, you'll see that they are, there is a difference. It's almost a slight hybrid, but in terms of face feel, in fact, that's probably softer, just ever so slightly. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Just put a bit of water in the sink. Rinse it a little bit. Cold water shave today. I will be finishing off with fine L'Orange Noir. Or fine accoutrements. That was actually, I won that in a sort of describe your favourite scent and why competition on one of the, well the only group that I'm actually a member of now, the Australian White Shaving Enablement over here in Australia. Now just to give a shout out to Milton from Turn and Shave, I sent this brush to him to polish the handle for me because there was a lot of fine hairline scratches on it. Now there's not a single scratch on this brush, he did a fantastic job, didn't damage the knot, it, it just worked wonders with it. Anyway, straight into Mitchell's Rule Fat. Now I did soak the soap to soften the top layer. Didn't bloom it. Don't want people getting upset. This is nothing about releasing the scent for me, it's just about softening the top layer of the soap. So I soak the soap and water to soften the top layer so that I can then load the brush very easily. Now I have used this with actual hair brushes, synthetic brushes, horsehair, boar and badger. And I've got great lathers from everything. However, with a synthetic brush, which this is, the lather is just outstanding. It's far superior in my opinion to anything I can create with a badger brush. And it's not that the badger brush lathers aren't good, they are very, very good. But I've said it before, I'll say it every time I use it. I can create a better lather with synthetic and I would challenge anyone to creating a lather if I use the synthetic and they use their best natural hair brush. Right, the brush is chock-a-block full. Just gonna wet my face. Scoop out the excess, I'll scoop all that from the side. Now I used to watch The Stallion. Anthony Esposito, I think his name is. I don't watch his channel anymore because he had a bit of a spit at the dummy when I commented on one of his posts or one of his comments about politics. And as such, he unfriended me and wouldn't reply to any of my messages when I Meshes them saying I was just having a bit of a laugh and a joke. If you want to take it that serious then I think you've got issues. But he loves the fat. He gets a great ladder from it. Very different type of ladder technique to what I've got because he does have a goatee and having a beard or a goatee makes it more difficult to get a great lather but he seems to get a great lather with no, no matter what brush he uses and he's not a fan of synthetics, he always uses natural hair brushes. He does have a couple of synthetics, he does use them every now and then but generally for the most part it was always natural hair. I've noticed that I don't think he's actually been putting any content out for quite some time now.
and it lifts at the tips. Start painting some moisture in. I'm going to go to my. I'm going to take my time with this today and really enjoy this lather because I haven't really. I always spend a long time lathering, but I haven't really spent a copious amount of time lathering getting that perfect lather, or what I believe to be pretty much a perfect lather for me at least. And while I'm doing that, I shall talk about the football. I've been very lucky this week in terms of betting as well. I've won three bets in the football, which is unheard of. Soccer if you're in America and Australia. Your versions of football are very different to mine, but I assimilate into society, so it's soccer for me now, even though it is football. But Manchester United beat Tottenham last week on Wednesday on Mourinho's return to play Manchester United. So they won that game and then it came to the weekend and Manchester United were playing Man City and it was a 2.30, oh no sorry, a 1.30am kickoff on Sunday morning, which was yesterday morning. And Manchester United went 2-0 up in the first half, played absolutely tremendous in the counter-attack and defended stoutly apart from a couple of little blips here and there and Man City just didn't have any answer. It was the first time I watched Manchester United and thought, you know, this feels this feels right now like it did when Fergie was there. They look like they're enjoying the football, they're working their arse off, they're doing it, they're playing the game the way it should be played. And it worked. They won two one in the end. And then we had Celtic play Rangers this morning. It was well, I say this morning, it was an eleven o'clock kickoff at night, eleven PM last night. And Celtic played absolutely shockingly shit dreadful for the whole game they played awful then they brought Edward on he first touched the ball he won a free kick he was fouled they crossed the ball over there was four probably four Celtic players offside one of the offside players scored a goal which they then counted because the linesman didn't give it his offside and Celtic then went down to 10 men, gave away a penalty which the goalkeeper saved and went on to win the game 1-0 and got absolutely outplayed and outfought in every department of the pitch and won the game 1-0 and won the cup in the final. It was unbelievable and I really enjoyed it because there's nothing better than getting to stick it into the Rangers supporters. I'll probably see a couple tonight at the boys' soccer trials for Mandra City. So I painted the water in, painted a lot of water in, now it's time, this knot is absolutely del delicious, beautiful to use. It's got a very very light scrub and the scrub comes from inside there, like the base of the hairs, the fibres. that building already. Now it's not finished. Just a little bit of water. Probably just a bit more.
Now, I can get a lather close to this with a synthetic brush using Mitchell's Wolf app, but it's certainly not as good as that. That's outstanding. It's so dense, it's creamy. It's lighter than artisan soaps, I will say, but it's so slick, it's unreal. I'm 10 minutes in, I haven't even had a stroke yet with this razor. I'm using the Carve Christopher Bradley razor, the 3.25 inch stainless steel handle, the stainless steel top cap, and the aluminium B base plate. I quite like this colour combo, it looks quite nice. And I'm going to slot into that the same blade that I used yesterday, which was the Gillette Nasset stainless. I used this off camera, but I did actually use Phoenix Artis and accoutrements yesterday. Boardwalk, is it Boardwalk Boulevard? I can't remember, I don't know. But it's a, a take on a barber shop, but I love it. It's absolutely superb. And the scent from the aftershave lasts three or four hours on the skin and smells amazing. So I've loaded that in now, as you can see, the blade gap on this razor is always perfect. It holds that blade perfectly still. It doesn't, no, no wiggle, no nothing. And here we go. The Gillette Nasse is just a phenomenal blade. I will mention, I used the C plate yesterday. Now, I used the exact same razor, but I used the C plate because I had a few days growth, two or three days. And I used the Fox Cod. And it was dreadful. It was absolutely dreadful. So I switched out for the Nasse. Now I've talked the Voss cord up in this razor. And I did use it in this razor. But it was absolutely awful. It was like it was ripping the hairs off my face. It was so bad. That I just took it straight out and chucked it straight in the blade bank. that set in. What a shave. Now granted it was a no prep shave yesterday. It, it, it just felt like he just wasn't cutting. It was just awful. It was so bad. And it was pretty much the memories, the recent memories I had before I found some good blades. So it might just have been a dodgy blade, blade in the pack but that's pretty poor quality, so quality control because it's the same pack I've been using that I can get like three blades that are great and then the next one in the pack is shit I just don't get that, I don't know how that works right look at that Superb. Cross the green. I've got roughly twenty four hours growth.
I'm noticing as well that I'm starting to get a little bit more ability to go against the grain. Which is nice. I'm finding it more with milder base plates, but that's that's alright, I don't mind that. I'm actually getting to get under my chin here a little bit without causing any real issues with irritation or pain. Uh, let's just For me, it doesn't get much better than that really. dry in, I'll rinse the soap out, got a little weep uh, on that side of my lip, very small, it'll probably weep for a little bit, but other than that, nothing on my neck that I can see, it's just a fantastic soap, it just allows me to use really any razor, knowing that I'm going to get that great slickness, and that protection and dense ladder that you get from it, it's really good stuff, I love the scent, it's really growing on me this soap. I'm given that I think a replacement pup to fill this tub up again it's like 13 or 14 Australian dollars and it lasts a long time, it will last a while considering I'm using this every second shave it's not moving a lot in that tub now this knot generally needs a little bit more work than others to get the soap out because it's reasonably dense for a synthetic knot. So just from shakes, you should be able to get the knot looking pretty much like it should when it's dry. That's not a million miles away. So try the handle, and then what I do is I just flick it on the brush tips on the towel, like so. I was expecting to feel here there, but there is none. That looks 
looks pretty good to me. Right, so I'm going to finish off now. So, oh yes. Well, the post shave from the Mitchell's Wool Fat and the Secret Artisan are both exceptional. Different type of post shave feel. The Secret Artisan's post shave feel is more. Oh, got a little bit of hair there. Let's just put that off. That's better. Beautiful. The pushy feel from the Secret Artisan is more like a silky Wickham aftershave balm sort of feel. Mitchell's Wool Fat is a really moisturated sort of hydrated feel and it's really nice. My skin always feels lovely and soft and extremely well hydrated afterwards. But I'm going to finish off with an aftershave splash which isn't a very moisturising one. Although I think the ingredients on this have changed ever so slightly. I don't think it's on here what the ingredients are. It's not it's on the box. I don't have the box in my hands. But fine accoutrements, L'Orange Noir, which is based off of Terre Dermis. And this is lovely, it smells amazing. Put a good splash on the head. Where I've got extremely minimal burn. In fact, this doesn't have anything at all. Good splash in the face, I'm expecting to feel it here. Yeah, but still, nothing major. My watch is pulling it here. But there's definitely a glycerin sort of thing happening here now. Oh god, that was a good burn on the face and neck. But a menthol, beautiful. I'm sure there's menthol on you, definitely menthol on it. Just rinse my hands off. So the soap for today comes in, well this one comes in another little ceramic tub. The lid doesn't fit very well but it's sort of rustic looking. Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap, original formula from 1893, made in Bradford, Yorkshire. It's just superb soap, it really is. It's not artisan soap, it's mass produced but it is top, top stuff. Considering this formula is over 100 years old and it's competing with and in my opinion beating many artisans that are making soaps now. The brush it's my Envy Shave Abalone brush, 25mm black wool fan. There's the Envy Shave coin in the bottom. This brush is absolutely gorgeous, it's just stunning. I mean, even uh, as much as my Peter Wolf Wolf Whiskers one is lovely as well, that is just gorgeous. The razor, not much more can be said about this razor. There will be a V2 eventually, I don't know when that's going to happen, but if they improve on that, you're talking about the best razor on the planet, in my opinion. It already is pretty much the best razor for me, if not the best razor that I've used in terms of safety razors. Mix and match all the different metals and things now, the aluminium, brass and stainless, and it just, just works beautifully. And other than that, finished off with Fine L'Orange Noir, which is a Tour Dermis clone. And that's a fantastic head and face shave today. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.